Attention millennial safe space advocates. A safe space is a place to put a safe. You can't wrap the world in Nerf. Wake up and smell your own bullshit. Listen, I understand the world can be a scary cold place when your parents stop scheduling your play dates. But this notion that you can create zones where never is heard a discouraging word is an unrealistic pipe dream. Now I understand it's not really your fault. You've been brought up by candy ass helicopter parents who made you the center of the universe. And you went to school in a child centered education system that made you feel good just for being you, even if you were an idiot. And you came of age in a world where you can shape a lot of the world to your desires. Get any type of entertainment anywhere you want at any time. Broadcast your unfiltered thoughts around the world with nobody there to edit. Customize your music choices so you only have to listen to what you want to hear. Well, sorry little princes and princesses. Once you take out the earbuds, the world is not your playlist. You can't enforce a no-fly zone for thoughts you don't like. I understand you want to create a better world free of racism and sexism, where people are judged by their merit and not their sexual orientation, gender, or color. But the idea of a meritocracy coming from a generation that took home participation medals is hilarious. And don't let your professors advise you about the real world, because they don't stick their Birkenstocks outside of academia except for Bernie Sanders rallies. The right place to create an environment where you determine the rules is your home. And just because most of you have to live with your parents doesn't mean you can claim public places as your living room. Hey, we'd all like to have places where we wouldn't feel judged or hear thoughts or words that bother us. We'd also like to have a money tree, big boobs, a giant penis, and a pony. But we don't feel the world owes it to us. When Superman wanted a safe space, he built a fortress in the Arctic. If you'd all be willing to head to the Arctic, I'm sure I could launch a successful Kickstarter to help get you there. But here's some important truth. Safe spaces are an illusion. They don't help anyone, including you. The best sense of confidence, dignity, and self-esteem comes from braving the big ugly world and proving to yourself that you can take it. Like Rocky facing Mr. T. The more you're out there, the quicker you stop becoming the other and become part of mainstream society. You change the world by living in it, not hiding from it. Bottom line, the world is not your iPhone. Suck it up, buttercup. Practice what you preach and stop harassing people. Like the photographer at the University of Missouri you ganged up on, like the Midwich Cuckoos. For people who are devoted to being colorblind, you're acting a lot like brown shirts. I'm at the sock and I'm nobody's puppet. Don't you be either. Don't forget to subscribe. Aloha.